I notice you have a lot of loyal members that do follow you everywhere you go, your Decatur Hot Sauce Society, because none of them are here this morning. Correct. They are not a morning people. Ken Hamilton in this morning. Saw, read about him in Decatur Daily a couple of months ago. Now, what do you guys got with the Decatur Hot Sauce Society? What we did year, about a year ago, a bunch of us like hot sauces. We used to go to the Brick, meet about once a month to have lunch, and we would have it. Well, the Brick Daily Indicator was nice enough to give, make us a bucket up that we actually keep hot sauces there. And it has grown from there. We ended up making a Facebook page, and now we're up to like 37, 40 members. And we just get together, and we enjoy hot sauces. And there's no initiation fee. Y'all don't have your own sauce out yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're none of us that ambitious. We don't collect money. The only dues are sometime or another, bring a hot sauce to share and just have fun. That's all it's about is having fun and just... Now, is this your personal collection? No, uh, half of this is my personal collection and the other half is the hot sauce bucket from At The Brick. They allowed me to bring it. So... Well, uh, I guess so for free publicity. <laughs> Uh, they're really wonderful people. I understand they, they are there. very good folks, best in the new location and everything. Downtown yes. Decatur literally is on fire with restaurants right oh, now. Oh, it, it's a great place with the third Friday coming out and the Arts and Entertainment District. And, you know, it's just a lot of fun. What are some bigger plans for you guys? Uh, bigger plans is just to meet again and have some more hot sauce. That's about it. That's long term also. Well, you're going to be a big TV star after this. Now, in just a minute, <laughs> and we'll go to Glory. Now, she's going to talk to everybody over that way. And then they're going to come over and they're going to experiment. And you're going to give everybody a sample of this. You brought some chips over there. And oh, we chip. have chicken. Mm -hmm. So let's go over on the set right now with Dusty Barry and Barry, who, come to find out, graduated Brewer High School together. That's yeah. right. Yeah. After 14 oh, years at the same huh. high school, y'all finally got out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just the other day, right? Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Now, Barry had to kind of bump playing today, and I was like, Barry, come be a guest. That way you can try all the fun stuff that's going to take place in the kitchen. And he didn't know what he was getting into, but glad you're here. Thank you. Good to be here. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay, Barry. I know Larry Hannah's not with us this morning, but I absolutely love... Your place. It's, and it's the wonderful. fireplace we just got built is just gorgeous. Glad you guys like that. We, we were really nice. Really glad we were able to do that for you guys. Uh, we really enjoy the design build. Mm -hmm. That's what we'd really like to do right now is, is have everybody come over, take a look at what we do, and we can do from the design all the way through to the install. Now, your showroom right there on Highway 31 in Hartzell, if, a lot of times people don't have that vision to be able to see what it looks like before they actually see it. So that's they right. can just walk through your whole garden center and get great ideas. Yes, they sure do. And that's what we like, too, is have people come to see us There's an and see what area. we can do. Exactly. Our Kitchen garden center is starting to be open seven day, six days a week. Yeah, you can talk to Kristen there. Come see Kristen, talk to her, talk to our landscape architect. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, then I can come out and talk to you at your home and see what you have in mind, see what you want to do. I promise everyone right now, if you call 773-7391, you're going to hear the most bubble bubbly, beautiful voice from Tiffany answering the phone. Every time I see her, I'm like, come on, Tiffany, answer That's the phone for me. Come on. She's just so great. So, yeah. I mean, she's just so warm and inviting. She is. Customer service and friendly and yeah. just wonderful. That's right. Family yeah. owned and operated. Enjoy what we do. That's the most important thing. Enjoy what you do. You guys seem like yeah. you have a lot of fun. Yeah, we do. You can check them out, their website, too. Um, give them a call, anything. If you have something that you need custom made, like our fireplace, for instance, was a little bit, needed to be a little bit taller yes. than a normal one. So yes, you guys just absolutely. made it beautiful. Sure, they did a great job. Okay. All right, Dusty? I got a good fireplace, too. You sure? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> Not only some good friends gave me one. Gave one. So it worked out right. well. And we could cook those weenies on If it ever quits raining, we're going to get to use it you one know, of these days, maybe. The fun part. <laughs> Services are great. We actually were in the first service last Sunday. Right, you were. You are in their band-led service at 845. Oh, and enjoyed having you guys in there in that service. How is that going? You had envisioned wanting to, wanting to do something to get the youth involved, and it's good to have the young guys here yeah. you know, singing yeah, this morning. We, we created that service for young people, you know, around 35 and younger. I yeah. guess that's young. Yeah, we were old in there. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> anyway, it's just really get them involved in the service, you know, reach that generation. So it's band-led. It's a good band. So uh, then we have a regular choir and orchestra at 1030. 
And so it's working pretty good. That was a big deal for you because I know so many times you hear a lot of the kids aren't going to church as much as they right. used to. Yeah, the statistics say about 80% high schoolers right. drop out of church once they graduate. So Find a it's hard to get them back in once they get in college and get away from home to get them come back to church. We have a good contingency, though, that comes of our college students. So it's going real well. Service times are? 8.45 and 10.30. That's right. We're always there early. Yeah, so we're get, once at 8.15. <laughs> there you go. We're getting ready to go to Ecuador on our spring break, taking our youth okay. to Ecuador a uh, week after next. Now, that's huge to get kids to commit to going on. It is, on spring on break. break. Giving their spring break up to go, so we're looking forward to that. All right. Well, let's head back over to the kitchen because, hold on, guys, just a moment. Jamie's going to get all that hot sauce stuff ready for us. I'm just going to drink it straight out of the bottle. <laughs> Y'all can take your mics off and get over right. here. I want y'all to try this. Frank, you'll be the first one to volunteer? No. Yeah. Well, Tom, notice all we people with acid reflux don't volunteer to do a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> but, Dusty, get over here. Let's fire you up a little bit this morning. Dusty will eat just about anything. If it was chocolate, come on, Barry. Right, come on, Barry. All right. Barry, y'all volunteer. Get over here behind me over here. Line them up. Give them something to eat, Ken. All right, guys. All right, guys. That's here you go. To... Now, now, this one... Before you burn your mouth up, let me get this way where anything. you can look the all down this way right here. Just try it out. Tom, you actually gonna try something? I might. All right. I think I'm gonna try it. Get them going, Ken. Only I'm going. Show. Here We're you go. Time. <laughs> now, who who likes the hot? Give Barry Kay the hot stuff. Yeah. Let me squeeze in here. There you go. <laughs> Grab a chip. All right, let's go. Yeah. No. They're chickens. They're Open chickens. Up. Let's go. All right. All right. Try something, Barry. Try some of that. Just pour it off. Here. Yeah, this now this one that I made up for you, this is a recipe I learned from the Pepper Palace up in Nashville. Come on, Mix Barry, these two ahead. together. You don't have to this is a pineapple, this is a mango oh, coconut. Right, but mango coconut. Mm. No, 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 no. Go ahead. No, Grab no, a piece no. of chicken. Try that. Come on, right boy. There. Let me take Come half on. of that, right? Come on. Somebody oh, got yeah. some. Come on. Get in here. Where's the pineapple? That's yeah, I'll get in. Pineapple? No, yeah, I want the pineapple. Nobody's allowed to do That is actually anything, a barbecue huh? sauce. What do you think so far, Barry? Mmm. It's good. Warm? Yeah, it's <laughs> That's delicious. I like yeah. I'm going to try it. Right, try, right. try that right there. Hannah the landscapes and get your yard hot and going this morning. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dip it in there. Uh, the best flavored one we have. Tom, okay. way to go. Domino effect. That's good. All right, Dusty, grab some. All right, let's I'll see here. Huh. How is it, Barry? You know, it gets uh, hotter after after about five, ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me before, this right here is the best tasting yeah, one. It has yeah, no I heat. Really speak. Oh. Everybody loves that one. <laughs> Idiots. That's why I didn't try it. Yeah, that has go. no heat to it at all. Oh, my goodness. Now, what? Like that. Said it has a lingering Isn't heat. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. on, <laughs> they told me it's great on shrimp, but, man, it's wonderful on, uh, oh, this one's mild. Child mild. mild. Child mild. Child mild. No, I'm not. We never understand at the Hot Sauce Society. We will tell you point blank. Yes, this is hot. No, this is not. That is not hot. Tom, what are you sweating for? Good. I'm thinking about spiking our communion with that. <laughs> but, uh, now, for those of y'all who want to be exotic, who's my who hasn't tried one? I have. I have. Come on, baby, get back over here. <laughs> Woo. This one's not that hot. But this one's actually. Man, where are you playing these days? Uh, tongue is kind of oh. kind of like thick. <laughs> this one's actually from Puerto Rico. You know what's going on? I'm playing some of the They're not as tropical as what I made you. But this right here is very good. It's come from Puerto Rico. Great. I have not found it anywhere else. So. That was good. <laughs> that was not hot. That was very good. There. I'd like to try something with one of these little chicken minis. <laughs> what would go good with one of these? Uh, that you need to try. The mango and the, mango. the uh, pineapple it's really, mix. It's really good. I think Matt needs to try one really of the hot good. ones. How is it, Tom? Chick fil A. Come on, Matt. Which Come on, Tom, try it. No, that's not hot. That's from Puerto Rico. That's oh. not that hot. One thing about it opens up your sinuses, it doesn't it? So if somebody wants to join up with you guys, Ken, what do they need to do? It's real simple. It's a very intense, oh, let me change that. It's a very intense <laughs> process. Go to my Facebook page, Decatur Hot Sauce Society. Like us. We'll tell you when the next meeting is. Come out, just have fun, relax, and just take it easy. All right, let me tell you who's coming up on the show next Thursday. Tashia from up at Belle Chev in Elkmont will be up here with her new cook. 
Knock Kashia. yourself out. Kashia. She'll be up that here hurts. with her new cookbook, <laughs> telling everybody what, how to do it. Eat your cheese, goat cheese. She's got that <laughs> elk turned the city of Elkmont around up that way. And she's got her That's library. Awesome. She's inviting her new book, Southern Living Cookbook, tomorrow at the library. Now. All right, anything that we need to know about this? Y'all still eating? Bam, mate, how's is it? I'm going to get some more sauce. Hot sauce. All right, go ahead, man. You go for it. You won't be saying it out. Yeah, heat you up. Heat you All right, up. guys, y'all ready? There Thank y'all for coming that this morning. One. Let's go out. We'll see y'all next and week. Here's one. the band this morning. Hit it, guys. The uh, stuff he brought them. <laughs>